What is up, A G Z? How are you boys doing? Now in today's video, I'm gonna go through things people need to know before they play b -Maker. Now there's a bunch of questions that everybody asks and with the amount of videos out on Demon 4, I'm surprised that you guys haven't really um, found, these, found this crucial information out yet. So I'm just gonna get straight into this and I'm gonna be answering the questions you guys have. So. First of all, since we're on the main menu, everybody always asks, what does new history do? It does say what it does here. So you start a new history, which means you wipe your character without losing your level, which means you keep your level, whatever level you are in the game, when you click new history is the level you'll be when you create your new character. This allows oh you to God. restart your family, spin your family, oh and you get free God. spins every new history. So can keep your you can keep your level and you get three new spins and you have a chance at rolling a new family but you have to restart your story and you have to progress again the next question that is usually asked is how do you get pickaxe now in order to get pickaxe you obviously you're going to spawn here to get pickaxe all you need to do is run all the way to the end of this little road and pickaxe you can buy the pickaxe from the miner right here. Another question that is frequently asked is, how do you check your level? In order to check your level, you press M to go to the, the HUD and in the bottom left hand corner, your level will appear there. Another question that is also frequently asked is, ADZ, how do you level up really fast? Now, the best level, the best leveling methods that I've seen so far is once you get to level 15, you are able to grind a demon called the green demon. Now this demon can seem fairly hard to fight, to beat, but I promise you he is not. There's a way to do him. If you are, um, fight him a couple of times and you'll learn his combos. And from there you should be able to handle him or you could do him with some friends. Now, when, the reason why I say level 15 is because when you're level 15, the crow will come and ask you to defeat the green demon as a quest. Now, you also, as well as when you defeat him, you get but um you get EXP for defeating him. You also get EXP from completing the quest. So you get double the amount of EXP. I do recommend grinding him because there's no, nothing else you can do to grind or level up. In the meantime so grinding green the green demon is really good and he spawns back really quick so i do recommend doing green demon if you're struggling to do green demon um you can also farm zanetsu he is over here um he is located in between this little village here and trinket mountain if you don't know where trinket mountain is i suggest you check out this video and i show you where it is another question that's frequently asked is how do you sell demon horns? And I'm going to show you guys that, right? So once you're at Slayer's HQ, this is the entrance of Slayer's HQ. All you need to do is follow this little path I'm going to show you guys, and you'll be able to sell your demon horns here. This is exactly where you sell your demon horns. And whilst we're here, another question I usually get asked is, how do you get constant breathing? And I'm going to show you guys what constant breathing is. So when you breathe, it doesn't go down unless you're using the building. In order to get constant breathing, all you need to do is go to the building right here and talk to this guy and train your breathing. That's all you need to do. Another question is usually asked is, yo Ags, how do you get the breathing swords, the breathing neutrons? In order to do that, I show you in this video, so you should go check it out. Another question that's frequently asked is, yo AGZ, how do you get so much money? I show you the best way to earn money fast in a short amount of time in this video. I do also recommend you check it out. Another question I usually get asked is, yo, Revolver Ags, what's Breathing Induct? Breathing Induct allows you to wipe, in, it allows you to completely get rid of your breathing style so you can go get a different breathing. White Potion 
also allows you to wipe like new history does for free however you will lose your level if you use white potion so don't use white potion unless you want to completely reset your level as well another question i usually get asked is revolver how do i get to slayers hq well i show you in this video so i do recommend you check it out another question i do get is revolver what's the best breathing i do have a breathing a breathing style um tier list video coming out However, if you do want my recommendations, I do recommend you go either Water, Fire, or Mist. Those are the strongest and the easiest to use in my opinion. However, I have heard that Wind is actually a very good breathing style. To go. Another question I've been asked a lot is, Revolver, I'm a demon. How do I become a human again? If you lost the tutorial, if you lost the tutorial demon and you want to reset for free, I do recommend using the white potion the white potion will take you back to the start of the game and you'll be able to progress again as a human but if you lose to the demon at the start of the game you will become a demon again so try your best not to lose the end also there are codes that are gonna expire soon so if you haven't used these codes make sure you use them because the new update is coming either tomorrow or in the next two days another question i usually get asked is revolver how do you pass final selection so for final selection, I do recommend you fight demons one at a time. Do not aggro multiple demons if you know you cannot handle that. And I do also recommend try getting into a party. If you don't have friends to play with, final selection is soloable. It's definitely doable by yourself. But make sure you get your breathing style before you do final selection. Another question I usually get asked is Revolver. What does Muzan Blood do? Muzan Blood if you are a demon allows you to reset your demon art and it completely randomizes which demon art you get another question i usually get asked is revolver how do you use the lunge move lunge in order to use lunge all you need to do is run and press c i mean and <laughs> is run and press m1 when you run and press m1 it will lunge so you need to have a running start to run double tap w and press m1 Another question I usually get asked is Revolver, what does Dash do? Now I don't have an example because there's no one here to use it on, but you need to be aiming at a person, press the C button on your keyboard, and it will dash you towards the nearest opponent. Another question I usually get asked is, how do you drop money? How do I drop money? In order to drop money, you just need to click on the gold, type the amount, and it will drop. But remember, once you drop something, it puts you in combat. So be wary of anyone around that may attack because you won't be able to log. If you do log, you do lose EXP and you lose money. Combat logging does guarantee that. As well as that, when you die to NPCs or in general to other players, you will lose EXP and money. So be careful and try your best not to die. Now, another question I'm usually asked is, Revolver, how do you get White Potion, Breathing Induct, Muzan Blood, and parts to buy the shotgun? Now, if you do need to get these parts or these items, you need to go to the Black Market. Now, the Black Merchant can be found usually standing here or standing here. If he is in, not in one of those two places, He's usually where I'm about to show you. Run to the edge here and go to the horseman. <laughs> Click on him and go to Okia village. Now he should be in Okia if he is not in the other places. Problem with him being here is you might have to search a little bit. Oh, look, we found him pretty easily. So, just click on him. Welcome, stranger. I'm selling weapon parts for 200 yen and unknown items for 3,000 yen. Would you like any of these? You can buy weapon parts. And I'm not too sure how many weapon parts you need to buy the, the shotgun, but I will buy some more. Also, you... To buy unknown item, you need 3,000 and it will come in your inventory. And look, now I have two white potions. I had one before. 
He gave me a white potion this time. Let's see what he gives me this time. He gave me another white potion. Let's see what he gives me this time. It's completely random on things he gives you. He's gave me a breathing induct this time. And I'm going to try about two more times for you guys. See if I can get some moves on blood. Used up quite a bit of money here. Uh, one more time for good luck. Alright, so I'm going to check my inventory. I got a bunch of breathing inducts. And we have got moves on blood now. So, you know where to get moves on blood. You know where to get weapon parts. At the Black Merchant. That's all there is to him. Last but not least, another question I usually get asked is, where do you get meat? Because I got a lot of meat. No homo. So, you run to this little hut. You will see a lot of other anime references. And all you need to do is click on this man right here. I want to buy some supplies. Five meats, please. And he will give you those meats. So, if you guys want to purchase... Any of these rare items off of me, just let me know in the comment section. But until then, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And those are usually all the questions I do get asked. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to get to everyone that comments. Also, AGZ gang, if you know the answers to the questions that are going to be asked, do me a favor and answer them for the person. I'll see you guys in the next video. AGZ gang, I appreciate and love all y'all boys. Let's grind to 20k. Let's do this.